Wings fans and Habs fans, there's going to be a lot of combined love for this video over here because we have two NHL buyouts today, or at least two players being placed on waivers with the intention of getting bought out by their hockey teams. It is Justin Abdelkader from the Detroit Red Wings and Carl Alsner from the Montreal Canadiens. These are the two big albatross contracts on their respective hockey teams. And this could not have come at a better time. We spoke in the most recent video about how apparently, even though Mark Bergevin said before that Patrick Laine was off the books because the price would be a little bit too high, there might have been an offer made regardless. So if this indeed was the plan to have a Carl Alsner buyout where he was originally making $4.625 million a season until 2022, buy out the contract, it'll cost 800 grand over the next four seasons, which is significantly less to be fair. And let's see what you can do with the extra cap space from there. Furthermore, with Justin Abdelkader, he's a guy who was on a different situation, but was making a very similar $4.25 million a season until 2023. He signed that contract back in 2015, and it was gonna go on for seven years. Yeah, that definitely did not work out well. But his buyout history indicates that he'll be making just over $1 million until 2026. So that's quite a big hefty number for a buyout. But at the same time, though, Abdelkader today is much different from the Abdelkader that signed that contract a few years ago. Going back to Alsner, though, he was always a guy who played his best days with the Washington Capitals ever since 2008. He was a mainstay on the Capitals' blue line. Then he went over to Montreal, and everything just kind of fell apart from there. 2018-19 is where he saw his career really just absolutely take a nosedive. 2019-20 saw him play pretty much the entire season with the Laval Rocket, getting a few points in the process, but now actually being a guy who's not going to be with the Habs organization anymore. As for Abdelkader, he was a better player with the Red Wings back when he signed that big contract. In fact, he was a good player as far back as two years ago. This past season, he had three assists in 49 games played, so that's really not great. But for Red Wings fans, you guys are opening up even more cap space over here. What you can do with $3 million extra dollars is quite wild. And we spoke about a few ideas that Steve Iserman reportedly has in the tank when it comes to taking advantage of teams that are not in the best financial situation. So with an extra $3 million, let's see if the Red Wings are able to do a few more of those moves. Maybe trade away for some guys that aren't really all too valuable, but get some extra picks in the process. We have the draft coming up a little bit later today, which we're going to be streaming for that, by the way. So if you want to see some extra draft coverage, feel free to check out the YouTube channel. But yeah, we're in a great position over here for both teams to improve financially because Abdelkader, Alsner, definitely not the most desirable contracts out there. And now they're getting bought out. They had better days in the past. The most recent season wasn't kind to them. So we're seeing their NHL career futures shift. So talk to me in the comments what you think about these buyouts. I know I have a ton of Habs fans and Red Wings fans in this YouTube channel's comment section. So let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I... Bye.